Delta State Governor Sheriff Oborewari has extended an invitation to investors to capitalize on the state's favorable business environment, emphasizing its potential for growth and success. Governor Oborewari made the call during the Urobo Progress Union Youth Wing Worldwide Youth Conference Day hosted at the ultra-modern Urobo Cultural Center Uviamuge Agbaro. New Central's correspondent Austin Azu has more. The Urobo Youth Wing, in conjunction with stakeholders from the 24 Urobo Kingdoms, converged on the Ultra Mother Urobo Cultural Center, Uriamuge, Agbaro, Delta State, with a focus on unity as a political site for harnessing Urobo potential for economic development. Governor Sheriff Oberiwari, represented by Professor Nyarubo Tanukari, Commissioner for Higher Education, urged youth to prioritize education and could currently develop pathways to economic empowerment, thereby driving Nigeria's social economic advancement. The governor is trying to inform the youth that whatever they require to have that skill is, is making it available in terms of education, tertiary education within the state. But at that same time, he's telling them now, nah, I'm giving you this skill, giving this education, take this education, take this skill, go and establish companies, go and do something that will make Nigeria you know, greater than what it is before. Because people that are over really do much again, it's the youth, the younger ones coming up that is going to take Nigeria to the greater height. That is the essential message of the governor. Notable keynote speakers emphasize the importance of unity and advancement of the Robo nation, while also advocating increased federal and state investments in the region. Robo youth should get educated. And while getting education, formal education, they can also get skill, vocation, so, so to, to equip themselves. So if you don't, if they do not get the salary job, no problem. Then you make yourself self reliant, like our forefathers used to do. And if you feel you have, if you, if you can, if that one is it's not enough for you, find a way legitimately explore outside the world. So robo youths, they need mentorship and a lot to be mentored. We have a very flourishing land in the robo kingdom. So we we'll say the youth should get involved with, you, with um, agriculture, not just as a profit-making business, but as something that is going to make them the future, the leaders of the future tomorrow. That all the youth to organize themselves, to create awareness, and to support political parties and candidates who will make the creation of Urobo State a priority, part of their manifesto. Blessed Ugere, president of the UPU Youth Wing and planning committee chairman Evi Sakobi, underscored the program's aims and unveiled the 25-year development strategy master plan for the Urobo Youth Nation. A unity is paramount for us to grow. It has come to the position that we have to think for our future. The major fact or the major gain of today's event is the unveiling of the 25 years master plan for Robo Nation, which is the Agenda 2050. I'm proud to be an Robo. Uh, Robo is the fifth largest ethnic group in Nigeria as for today, and um, we are blessed with young people that have character, skills, competence, and um, they have foresight. Um, so we needed um, a monster point where we, the young people, who are the future of Robo sit down, discuss our challenges, and shut a way forward. The Robo youth are renowned for their collective voice and resolute commitment. And hopefully, the 25-year master plan will bring the desired results and advancements. In Ugele, for News Central, I'm Austin Azul.